Hey guys, let's go to problem 25. Evaluate the following expressions, root AB and root AQ, A to the power of 5 and B to the power of 3. Oh, what, what is going on here? So I have no idea what's going on here, but I'm just going to write it accordingly. So I got 25 out here. All right, so 25. So we have root AB, root A times B, and I got square root of A to the power of 5, and I would say I got B to the power of 3. Okay. So what does this mean? You know, like, wh how, how do we change this? Well, I would say I, I, I would stay super dumb and bing bong situation. Like, I'm, I'm going to stay bing bong right now. I'm going to write them all of these radical expressions all separately. All right, so here we go. We got some rad A and I got some rad B. And I can write it rad A five number of times. I'm not sure what that's going to do for me, but I'm going to write it five number of times. And here we go. Uh, we erase this. Okay, so rad A and rad A, and I'm, I'm going to write rad B, rad B and rad B, just like this. And I just have to remember the rule that in these radical expressions, as long as we have the two same expressions that are coming out and multiplied out all together, I'm going to say that, you know, like we, we need to remember that if I have the radical expressions that, that came out twice and multiplied by one another, it seems like it's just going to burst. It's just going to burst out and we get those expressions. Of course, we're assuming that the circular blurb is positive or non negatives. So I'm going to say that, you know, like that's going to, you know, popping out those radical expressions. That's the meaning of it. All right. So let's just try to see what's up. Uh, A is supposed to be one. So, all right. The root one, how many times did it appear? Root one has appeared, well, six number of times. Oh no. Root one has appeared six number of times. But what about rad two? What about rat two? I, I think I got four number of times that root B has appeared. So I'll say root two and rad two and rad two and rad two. Just going to write it down in this following format. So what's going to happen for multiplying one and one? So you can see that that becomes one. Classic. And this becomes one. And that becomes one too. Right? And what about rad two times rad two? That becomes two. And this also becomes two because it's going to burst into just like integers. We get lots of nice looking integers and we multiply those numbers out. One times one times one and two times two times two. Well, we end up getting four. And that is going to be the answer.